For 180 years, the iconic telegram brought news of calamity and condolence, joy and success. It entered popular culture, surviving the invention of the telephone and instant messaging. But the end is nigh. It was, ironically, via Twitter that Belgian telecoms firm Proximus announced the demise of its service, one of the last in the world. The system was kept alive by only a handful of businesses, mostly bailiffs issuing hard copies of legal documents. Tucked away in London's Science Museum are some of the earliest examples of the technology. The first system was developed in England in 1837 and would go on to change the world. By 1900, there were cables that connected all the different continents of the world, and it was, it was the first step to globalization. Radio, TV, telephone. Our world is basically built on the telegram. It's hard to imagine, but once these cumbersome machines were cutting edge technology, very much the same way that computers were much later on, they used the latest science of the day, electromagnetism, to point needles at letters in the alphabet to eventually spell out a word. It was all down to how skilled the telegraph operator was using these handles. The technology created a certain style of writing, a bit like modern text messages. The word stop was used to indicate the end of a sentence. Senders also paid by the word, leading to some resourceful ways of communicating. The shortest telegram in the English language was sent by the writer and celebrated wit Oscar Wilde. He was living in Paris and sent a message to his publisher to see how his new book was doing. The message simply read, his publisher responded, Later, Morse code was used to send telegraphic messages. On April the 15th, 1912, the ill-fated Titanic sent one of its last distress calls. The UK abandoned the telegram in 1982, the US in 2006, and the biggest market, India, four years ago. But the technology isn't quite dead yet. You can still send telegrams in places like Italy. Also, a host of online companies and apps have emerged in recent years, offering people an experience of a bygone age. Oh. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, London. Stop.